Meet our obstacle avoiding bot, a smart, self-driving robot that dodges obstacles like a pro. In this video, we'll show you how to bring this amazing project to life, step by step. Let's get started. For this project, we'll need an Arduino UNO board, L293D motor shield, one ultrasonic sensor, HCSR04, with its mounting bracket, one servo motor, two DC geared motors, two wheels, a small piece of cardboard for the structure, some jumper wires, a USB cable, a double battery holder with switch, two lithium ion batteries. Let's wire everything up. Mount the L293D motor shield onto the Arduino UNO. First, we'll connect the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino. This sensor helps the robot detect obstacles. Connect the VCC pin of the sensor to the 5V pin on the motor shield. Connect the GND pin of the sensor to the GND pin on the motor shield. Next, connect the trig pin of the sensor to A1 on the motor shield and the echo pin to A2. Next, let's wire the servo motor. This allows the ultrasonic sensor to rotate and scan the surroundings. Connect the pins of the servo to servo 1 terminals on the motor shield as shown. Now, let's wire the two DC geared motors that drive the wheels. Make sure the polarity of the motors is correct to ensure the robot moves forward properly. Connect the first motor to M1 terminals on the motor shield. Connect the second motor to M2 terminals on the motor shield. Finally, let's connect the power source. We will insert two lithium ion batteries in this battery holder later on. Connect the battery holder's positive wire to the positive power terminal on the motor shield. Connect the negative wire to the negative terminal on the motor shield. Make sure to double check your connections with the circuit diagram. Now, download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino ID. The first thing we do is include the necessary libraries. These libraries make it easier to work with the motor shield, ultrasonic sensor, and servo motor. The afmotor.h library is for the motor shield, newping.h simplifies ultrasonic distance measurement, and servo.h controls the rotation of the servo motor. Next, we define the pins and constants for our components. Here, we specify the trig underscore pin and echo underscore pin for the ultrasonic sensor, set a maximum detection distance, and define the motor speed limits. We then create objects for the motors, servo, and ultrasonic sensor. Here, so our handles distance measurement, motor 1 and motor to control the left and right motors, and my servo operates the servo motor. In the setup function, we initialize the servo motor and perform an initial distance measurement. The servo is centered, and we measure the first distance reading from the ultrasonic sensor. Now, let's dive into the heart of the program, the loop function. This is where the robot decides what to do. If the robot detects an obstacle within 25 cm, it stops, reverses, and scans both sides to determine the clearer path. It then turns in that direction. If the path is clear, it continues moving forward. The read ping function measures the distance using the ultrasonic sensor. These functions control the robot's movement. These functions define forward, backward, left, right, and stop movements by controlling the motors. Finally, the look right and look left functions make the servo rotate to check both sides. The servo moves to the right or left, takes a distance reading, and then returns to the center position. And that's it. Now, connect the Arduino UNO to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. 
Select Port and Board in the same menu and select Arduino UNO. Now click on the Upload button. Alright, now paste and align the components with the help of cardboard as shown. Insert the batteries in the battery holder. Switch it on. With its ability to detect obstacles, make decisions, and navigate autonomously. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.